Hey, Rich. Yo. You know who Smokey Eunuch is? No, should I? Yes. Do you? Never mind. Do you it, know who he is? Yes, I do. Who he is made he? Him, he made him well, up. Well, it's a absolutely classic, legendary American stock car racer, crew chief, engineer, engine builder, and he is easily most famous for this Chevelle that got 100% banned from NASCAR. And this <laughs> thing is a very sick tribute to it, sir. Thank you. Hey, what's up, man? Introduce yourself to the people. Uh, my name is Doss Daly. I'm from Anchorage, Alaska, and brought down my 66 Chevelle that uh, did the Smoky Eunuch theme paint job. Uh, How do you bring a car down from Alaska? I towed it down in an enclosed trailer. Wow. Did you just bring it down for this, or are you doing other stuff here? No, I left Alaska um, a couple months ago, and I originally brought it down to go to Hot August Nights in Reno, okay. big car show. And I was only planning on being gone about three weeks, and then I found out about the Good Guys car show, and then things keep wrapping up, so now now I'm here. Man, that's sick. Hell yeah. Yo, gold leaf. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. Oh, that's gold, baby. <laughs> yeah, who painted that? I did all the work, painted it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Nice, this dude. thing is so clean, man, yeah. and I, I like, is this, you got like Corvette style? Yeah, I try to make them look like Corvette. You know, they don't have the electric latch, but I made my own latch in there. Okay. You did the fabrication too? Yeah. Engine work? Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh the, engi the engine's a crate motor, but I put it in there and all that. Okay. But the car started from a ground up build. I'm an engineer and I spent about three months doing a bunch of design work and calculations. The whole frame was uh, designed and built uh, 3D modeled in SolidWorks. Wow. And then built off of that. Basically all the sheet metal under the car from the firewall, floor pans, trunk pans was all hand built. And then every panel on the outside has been modified in some form or the other. Now wait, look how, look, look how everything is smoothed out. Now, did you actually do the old smoky unit? Because it does kind of feel oh. smaller. No, it's still a full-size car. I didn't oh, yeah. do the eights or anything like that. <laughs> okay. But yeah, back here, C7 Corvette taillights. Yeah. French them in there too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, this bumper was all hand-built from scratch. It was less work to try to build it from scratch than to, you know, section the original bumper. Can I uh, can I open this up? Panels yeah, for sure. Panels all line up. Paint's all there. Yeah. Screw it with your thumb. There we go. This thing is so damn molding. clean. Yeah, Yo, have... I like I like how simple everything is. All these clean lines in here. And yeah. you, got a, you got the yoke style steering wheel. What did that start as? The steering wheel? Yeah. Um, some aluminum sheet metal and aluminum tube. Flex alert. Oh, okay, so you just made that. Yeah, it's all made from scratch. I spent I spent like a year and a half kind of teaching myself how to do programming and all that to get that screen and all the buttons to work. It's all touch screen and shows all the information you'd see in a normal dash. Damn. What field do you work in? You're an engineer. Uh, mechanical. So okay. I do I do lots of like pump and piping, pumps, pipe work, work okay. and mines and oil field and stuff. Okay. This is far from an oil field. Yeah, yeah, this is my hobby. Do you mind like, can you click it on so you can yeah. kind of see what it yeah, looks for like? Sure. The molding is new. Molding like, is new? Look, look at this, everything. Oh, damn, yeah. dude. Yeah, it's a good. Hell yeah. So it's touch screen, so it's got all the normal stuff you'd have, you know, speed, RPM, odometer, oil pressure, coolant, fuel pressure, battery voltage. It's and touch it's got screen another, too? another screen here that will do uh, brake pressures and clutch pressures. Oh, sick. And I'll go back to the other screen here. And then just for fun, on my way down here, I stopped at the Portland racetrack. So I just added that on there for fun, a little map of the track. And what? All that. You actually used this? Yeah, I took it out. I did one of the SCCA track days out there and just did a few laps out there for fun. Just a few laps in a... In a, how I don't even have a value yeah, for yeah, this. What, yeah, what? Yeah. How much is it? What kind of time have you put in this? Have you calculated that or? Uh, it was. A, I mean, it was over the course of five years. I don't know, you know, hours or anything like that. But it was a lot of work. The last couple of years, I was working on it pretty hard to get it done. Damn. Can we pop the hood and see what uh, what's packing underneath? So you got a crate engine, you said? Yeah, it's a LS3 through Blueprint engines. It's ones they upgraded a little bit. They advertised it at 530, but the dyno sheet they uh, sent with it was just under 550. And because the frame was all hand built, I had to hand build the headers to fit in where I wanted to. Every There's nothing uh, 
hanging bowl of the frame on this car. Everything's tucked up nice and tight. Nice. The inner fenders were all hand built out of fiberglass. I built like a wire cage around it when the car was dropped down so I would know I would never rub or anything. Uh, aluminum core support was all hand built. Damn. This is like that room your parents tell you don't go into <laughs> as a kid. Like, yeah. if you break something, we'll, we'll tan your hide. These are obviously LEDs, but they look like Can you turn they them don't on again? look too yeah, they're weird. The, they're you know? from the dapper lighting. I think those guys are down here somewhere. Oh, yeah. He's got the halos. I noticed that. Yeah, it's great. Because it, like, it keeps that classic look. Yeah, sometimes that can be a miss on old cars. This is not. I like it. And then the windshield, I brought the sheet metal in all the way around the windshield and to flush that in, put a seal on it. And then in the rear, I brought the sheet metal in all the way around the outside and the glass, or it's Lex sand, it's actually set in from the inside of the car to smooth it out. Because they, it was difficult to do because it's kind of at a 90 degree angle and they originally have that chrome trim around there. So it was, wow. took a little extra work and then painted up the trim around the glass to kind of look like a newer car. Wow. What we got in the trunk, anything? I mean, yeah, it's not too, nothing. I didn't really finish it off in there. It's got the fuel cell and my battery. Yeah, race car. Huh. Yeah, race car. Okay. Surprise, it's super clean. Now, right? what, what pump are you running from Air Motive? Uh, it's or, the, it Aramotive? the Phantom uh, 340. I can't remember what it is. Okay, that. cool. So pretty pretty mellow. I mean, obviously, with the, it's yeah. not like the crazy engine setup or anything. This, yeah. is, uh... this is clean, man. I like this. Did you always know you wanted to go to C7 lights? Or did you kind of play around with a few? Um, I knew I wanted to do something. I'd seen some Chevelles that had the Camaro taillights in there, and I didn't want to copy that. I hadn't seen any with the C7. I bought a set off eBay, and I spent like three months. Every couple weeks, I'd go up, put them up there, and they were like the complete opposite shape of the back of the car. And I was right. like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this work. And finally, after like three months, I was like, I just need to start cutting into this thing and make it work. And eventually got it, built some taillight pockets, and got everything fitted in there real nice. I can say, it actually does look suitable for it. You know, like it looks clean. Man, if you had to put like some C five tail lights in it, it would have been like whack yeah you know but the the hard lines of it really work would you mind firing this thing up for us yeah look at this bumper right here man this is so clean yeah like yeah that so was a lot flush. of work a lot, of, a lot of work to get all that tight in there like that this is the true definition of OEM plus. I'm over here trying to do an engine swap, taking me two years he did this all in five we need to fire it up he built the whole ass yeah. car yeah he built the oh, oh does yeah oh, what is that? oh man is there a crossover at all? No, it's straight pipe on each side. I have these Varex mufflers that have internal cutouts. Um, and so I have cut the buttons on the steering wheel. I can open and close it, but the one motor burned out. So I pulled the fuse for today and just manually opened them. Okay. If you want to hear it, actually, I can do it on this side. You can hear the noticeable difference. I can throw yeah, the yeah, fuse yeah. in there. Try it out. Give it like a 10.69254 out of 10. Oh. Holy shit. Whoa. Damn, that's yeah. quick. Yeah, they're really quick. Who makes these? Wow. <laughs> wow. That's slick, man. Yo, who that's, makes those mufflers? That's super slick. You said Varex? Uh, Varex. Nice. Well, uh, does this thing party? We'll try. I haven't done anything in it yet, but I guess we'll <laughs> find out. I feel bad for asking them, <laughs> but you gotta do something. I gotta save my tires for the ride home with okay. it. Okay, copy that, hey. Right. 
We appreciate you. Yeah, thank you. See you then. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, dude. It's a show yeah. car, but it also goes. That's what we like to see. I don't know what to say. Yeah, neither do I. I did this everything. Is, yeah, this is, uh, this is too sick. This makes me angry. It makes me angry that people are this good at things. I want to be this good. <laughs>